Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jordan Weber. I'm the marketing manager here at Sages, and today we're going to take a minute and talk about backdoors into IT networks. They've been in the news a little bit more recently, so we want to go over exactly what they are, what they mean to your particular IT network, and what you can do to make sure that your business's IT network does not contain backdoors that malicious or nefarious hackers can exploit for their own means. So let's get into it. So what exactly is a network backdoor? This is actually a slang term typically used in the IT community for access credentials, which are hard-coded onto a particular piece of network hardware. Uh, in this case, say, for example, a router. Um, these are put onto the piece of hardware to allow the manufacturing company the ability to maintain the, uh, maintain the actual hardware that they've built um, with a set of sort of stock access credentials. So for example, let's suppose a company has a Cisco router that they're having problems with. Uh, they call up Cisco and say, we're having an issue with this router. Send someone out, give us a hand, take a look and see what's going on with it. When Cisco sends out their technician, they're going to send him with a set of access credentials. When he gets to the client site, plugs his computer into the router, tries to figure out what's going on with it, he's going to use those built-in access credentials, that back door, so to speak, to figure out what's going on with that machine. The problem is, Malicious hackers and other nefarious folks on the internet also know these backdoors exist and are constantly seeking ways to find and exploit them. Given the possibility that a hacker were to exploit the backdoor to an IT network, they would theoretically have access to all data flowing through that router. This obviously poses a major security risk for companies and therefore they want to do everything they can to make sure that their networks are not vulnerable or exposed in such a way and that these backdoors, so to speak, are locked down. The important thing is understanding these backdoors exist, understanding what sort of hardware on your network has such backdoors, and taking the appropriate steps to lock them down and make sure you understand who can access, who is accessing those, and just in general turn off these sort of uh, backdoors and, and workarounds to potential security you have built into your network. So, what can you do to safeguard your own network from these IT backdoors? There's a few things you can do, and luckily, they're simple and they're actually quite effective steps in the fight for your business cybersecurity. First, understand what's on your network. It's very, very important, especially for any company that monitors and maintains their own internal IT department, to understand down to a T what hardware runs that network. This would be a combination of workstations, servers, backup devices, routers, switches, um, and other equipment which facilitates the, the actual IT network that runs your business. Understand exactly what hardware is on there and running it. That means the year that it was purchased, how much longer it's under warranty, uh, the version of firmware that is on it, exactly you know, who the manufacturer is, etc. Once you understand and have a bird's eye view of the hardware that runs your network, then you can go about taking the first steps to secure it. Second, update and patch your systems as often and as consistently as possible. Um, this same logic applies to servers, workstations, and any other device that uh, a business uses for its office computing environment, so to speak. Um, hardware manufacturers and software manufacturers tend to support a product for several years after its release. Um, take a look at the manufacturer who created your router, for example. It could be Cisco or Juniper or Avaya, it doesn't really matter. Um, you most likely have a protection plan on that router which will come with security updates for the next, say, couple of years or so. Now, it depends on the exact uh, manufacture for the exact nature of the support agreement, but take a look and see what support is there. If there is support, ensure that you are downloading those updates and patches as frequently and as consistently as possible. This makes sure your firmware and your hardware, so to speak, is guarded against the most recent uh, and resilient IT threats. A third option is you can always outsource it. You can spend hours and hours um, enlisting the time and effort of all of your team and staff, documenting every little bit of your IT network, crawling through the server room, taking into account uh, serial numbers and product ID numbers and the like, um, or you can outsource it to a third-party IT support company like Sages. Companies like ours tend to excel at supporting the IT network and needs for small and mid-sized businesses all over the world, and often for a fraction of the, uh, for the price of doing it in-house. That's definitely something to take a look at. If you want a better picture of what's on your IT network and what hardware makes it run, call in an expert, have them diagnose it and do an assessment, they'll figure it out. That about wraps it up for our episode this week. Please feel free to subscribe to our blog. We release videos like this each week designed to help inform small and mid-sized businesses about the latest in business technology trends and changes that affect them. If you have suggestions for a future topic or feedback about our current video series, feel free to email marketing at Once again, my name is Jordan Weber. I'll look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you very much.